Today what I'm going to be doing is making a hot air balloon for hanging in a ceiling in a young child room. I love this idea and I also think it's going to be really easy to make. I'm going to start off with a balloon that I've blown up and some brown paper along with my normal PVA glue that I have actually watered down a little bit as well to make it a little bit more runny. Now when it comes to drying this I'm going to put it onto this actual empty yogurt pot. It's very easy to cover and this brown paper is what came with Amazon boxes. You know me, I don't throw anything out or away. And all I'm going to do is cover it like this. I'm going to give it probably three, maybe four full layers of it as well to ensure that it's nice and thick and robust. I'm sure you all did this as kids anyway, but it's amazing what you can make out of these sorts of things. Well, this is all finished now. It's nice and firm. I give it seven coats, and all I need to do now is to remove the balloon, which is so easy to do. Just pop it like that, and then we can take the balloon out. If there's any left in there, it's stuck to the side, so I'm not too worried. Before I can do anything else, I need to make the basket that goes underneath. And of course, I'm going to be making that out of some cardboard. I want, I want four pieces of the same size. So I'm going to just cut out some squares. And the reason we need four is because I want these to be double this thickness. So they're a bit more robust. So all I'm going to do is glue two of these together like that. And then glue these two together. And I'll put a weight on them. They shouldn't take long to dry. And while that's drying off, what I need to do now is create my strips which is going to be the sides of the basket well my square bases are all lovely and dry now i've cut my strips these are all a half a centimeter wide and now it's going to be about gluing these on here i'm going to try and get them as even apart as i possibly can and now i've got them all stuck on i'm going to cut them down to the right length and now we've got them all at the right length, what I'm going to do is add my little base to it there, like that, and glue that onto there. Pop a bit of a weight on that for a few seconds. I've only used hot glue for that, so it won't take long to dry. There we go, that should be done. And now I'm going to fold all these pieces up, going all the way around. Onto that basket, close as I possibly can. And now I'm going to bend these down so they stick up like that. Glue those together. And once you've got one done, they're easy to measure the rest. I'm going to go around and get them all so they're sticking up like that. Well, now they're all sticking up and they're all dry. They're quite firm which is great we want them nice and firm and i'm now going to round off these little corners here just a little bit so they're not pointed and what i've taken is some twine and i've just done a three strand plait and that's what we're going to make the basket out of before i do that what i'm going to do is finish off this edge with some extra of these strips glue those going all the way around there like that i've done quite long lengths of this but that's not a problem because I will cut it as I go around. The first piece I'm going to put here, so I'll glue that on the back so it's not seen, and then I'll just weave in and out, pushing it down as I go around. Well, that's the basket finished weaving. Didn't take long at all. I think it comes out really looking quite cute. And now what I'm going to do is this top bit, I'm gonna go round all the way round on the outside, Putting a dab of glue on there like that on each one and then going around the outside. And then once I've gone around all the way, I will start to then bring it in so it finishes off the top of that basket. We've got a nicely finished off top of a basket as well and the basket looks really really cute. And that basket is now going to hang really nicely under that when we finish this all off. I've marked off 12 little separate segments on the top of the balloon and I've also made a little round piece as well with 12 equally divided segments. What I now need to do is glue this to the bottom here because that that's going to be the underneath bit of the actual balloon itself. And then my lines are going to go to that. 
And now that's glued on there, I used some hot glue to glue that on there. What I'm going to do is run a line from each one and go so it's more got a curve in it. So now I've got my lines running all the way down there. They're not particularly even, I wouldn't say, but do you know what? I don't think I mind. I'm now going to draw them on using a marker pen so I can see them a little bit better. I'm going to paint this three different colours. It's going to go red, blue, yellow. All I'm using is acrylic paint for this and it should paint really easily. First one we're going to do is red. I may need more than one coat and yeah it's painting lovely and easy now. It's all dry. I've finished painting it now. I did give it two coats and what I'm going to do is put a black line down each one of these using an acrylic marker pen. I've also given it a gloss varnish because I wanted it to be shiny. The lines aren't too bad, a little bit neater than I thought I would do it. So I'm leaving it there to fully dry and now I'm using a metallic pen. I have no idea what colour this is. Hoping it's kind of like a goldy colour and all I'm doing is going around the base of this. So it's not only cardboard colour. The balloon's all ready now to assemble and to dress out which I'm really looking forward to doing. What I'm doing first is I'm making a little bit of bunting to go around the basket and it's really easy to make. I just cut out some bits like this sort of shape and then some string of equal length pop a bit of glue on and then put my string on it and put them on equal length equal distance apart or fairly equal distance apart and then squeeze them together so now i'm just attaching it to this basket using a hot glue gun going from the middle of each corner popping it on draping it over and then going to the next middle of that corner I think that really sets that basket off nicely having the bunting on and it will move slightly because I've not glued it in anywhere else. I'm putting my strings on that are going to hold the basket on and I've cut them all to the same length. All I'm using is some all-purpose glue. I made some little buttons as well and put them at all the corners. I've also put some string around here with some bows. Everything's ready now to attach to the basket and I've already put on most of the jump rings onto the basket. It was really easy and that's what I'm going to attach the strings to. All I need to do is open up the jump ring. Find approximately the middle of the basket top. Close the jump ring on it like that. I'm also going to glue a loop onto the top of the balloon as well to enable me to hang it up. Well, there we go. That's the balloon all finished and hanging up. I think it's come out really cute. I think it looks so pretty. And the great thing is it will spin round slowly if the air catches it as well. Let me know in the comments what you think if you've enjoyed this project. I hope you have. I've loved doing this project and please boot that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and crafts and things. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.